Welcome back, biology students. Uh, we are going into week 16. Uh, this week's going to be a little bit different in the schedule that we have this week. Uh, Thanksgiving is on Thursday, so there is no school on Thursday. There is no school on Friday. As far as your class schedules, uh, you have classes on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, but uh, Monday is going to be a 1-3-5 day, and Tuesday is going to be a 2-4-6 day. That's normal Monday and Tuesday schedule. Wednesday is going to be the day that's a little odd. Wednesday is going to be uh, the same schedule we, we usually run on Fridays, where you go to all six classes uh, starting at 9.25 a.m. So uh, use your Friday schedule for Wednesday, okay? So we'll see each other twice this week. Um, I'll see you on Monday and Tuesday for our class where we'll be taking notes. And then on Wednesday, it's going to be a check-in meeting. Um, I might... Uh, alter that just a little bit with, um, if you come to the Monday or Tuesday class, I'll give you credit for attendance on Wednesday, but I'll talk about that in class. So make sure you come on Monday and Tuesday so you can learn about that. All right, let's see what you got going on for this week as far as work. So uh, we're into week 16. We're gonna be learning about cellular respiration this week. Uh, two things you need to get done. The notes, which we will take together on Monday or Tuesday, uh, make sure you turn those into Jupiter. And then the concept map that I introduced to you last week, I gave it to you last week with the words last week. I told you to get started on it. This week, you need to get it done. Um, so the notes will be right here. I'll post the picture of the notes when we're done taking them. And then the concept map. These are the words for the concept map. Um, ATP, water, cellular respiration, chloroplast, carbon dioxide, sunlight, producers, sugar, photosynthesis, consumers, protein, chlorophyll, eukaryotes, and prokaryotes. Now, it's important to note that the definitions and what these things are can be found in the last three weeks of notes. Uh, ATP and cellular respiration will be this week. Protein and sugar uh, can be used from last week when we talked about the macromolecules. And the rest of this stuff will come from the photosynthesis, which was two weeks ago. And so put it all together as best you can. Make sure for every word you put a definition and then connect the words. And then you have to explain the connections. Just drawing a line between the words is not giving me anything. I need to know how does this word go with that word? Okay, so on the map, you got words, you got definitions and you got connections with an explanation. But that's only 20 points of the assignment. You get 20 points for the map. Then you take those words, those definitions, and those connections, and you write sentences with them. That turns into your summary, and that is worth 30 points. So if you're only turning in the map, you're only getting 20 out of 50. You need to do the summary as well. Okay, so uh, that's due on Monday, and then the notes we will do in class. Like I said, it's a pretty straightforward week. Um, that is what we got going on. So normal schedule, Monday, Tuesday, and I will see you then. Have a good one.